Police, put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Everybody out slowly. You asked to see me, sir? Four men dead. You think that makes my job any easier? Sir? Instead of putting people in jail, we simply put them in the morgue. Those people were shooting at me. Well, as of now, you're off the case. I've arranged for you to take a little vacation. Vacation? Am I being reprimanded? No. I need your testimony for the grand jury next week. I have to make sure you're still alive. And a vacation's going to keep me alive. Those two guys in the van you didn't shoot? What about them? They're out on bail. Bail? Why didn't you hold them? And what charge? The van was clean. I saw them make a pickup. You saw them pick up their lunch. If all they did was pick up their lunch, then why did they try to kill me? I don't know. They're dead. The other two, Duke and Duggar, I think they're called, had their lawyer in here first thing this morning. They were out in time for breakfast. Now, it's all been arranged. I don't want to see you again until Monday. But now, don't fight it. Don't you have a friends or relatives you can visit somewhere? Yeah, there's someone I'd like to see. I just saw his picture in a hall just now. Stetson Avery. How do you know Stetson Avery? We were partners some years ago. He quit the force and moved back to Greentown. Stay away from Greentown. Why? You told me to take a vacation, sir. We had a jurisdictional dispute with their police. They'll hassle you if you go there. Besides, it's a damn dull town. Why don't you go someplace more exciting, like Las Vegas? I'm really ready for some less excitement. Then go someplace else. I'm going. What am I going to find in Greentown? You attract trouble like a magnet. Don't be more trouble than you're worth. It's me. We've got a problem.
Could you help me? I'm looking for Stetson Avery. Why? Do you need your crops dusted? Excuse me? Stetson. He's a crop duster. Oh, I see. Yes, Stetson and I were good friends once, and I haven't seen him in years. Directions. Directions what? You lost? He's looking for Stetson Avery. <laughs> Stetson Avery? What? You got your crops dusted. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fill you in, pal. Stetson Avery's dirt, and anybody associates with him is dirt. I'll remember that. Now you'll do more than that. I'll do what, asshole? Hey, you let him go! Oh, oh, oh. Others. Get out! Yeah. See you later. I apologize for the bad manners. Does this sort of thing happen very often? Just when someone new comes to town. I got the same treatment myself. You handled that pretty well. Yeah, you handled that pretty well too. My name is Ike Walters. Mm. I'm Renee Dupont. Renee? Mm. That's a pretty name. Especially for a place like Greentown. Well, I'm from the Honduras. And here studying American agriculture. An exchange student? Mm. You could say so. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Everything okay?
Ike! Ike, I'll be damned. How the hell have you been? Still alive. How about yourself? Can't complain. You by yourself? Yes, I've got a few days off. I thought I'd come by and see how you were doing without me. Oh, I did damn well to survive with you. <laughs> Let's go inside. See if I remember. Jack Daniels on the rocks. Rot good stuff. I'm surprised you've got my brand. Yeah, I keep some of it around to remember you by. You always were ready for a cold one. Yeah, hot woman and a cold beer. Was it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> My pride and joy, built for comfort and long hauls. Do you spray with this one too? No. This is my workhorse. It's large. Takes a lot of power to dust. 130 feet when the sprayers are on. Might have 50 foot trees in the fence row. Gotta get over them. I get the picture. Stetson, I've got a few days off. And if it's no problem, I'd like to stay here and Give us a chance to catch up. Problem? No problem at all, man. I'm really glad you came out. It's working out perfectly. Somehow I thought you'd be married. Settle down by now. No way. Not a chance. Come on, you must be seeing somebody. Yeah. Well, there was someone that didn't work out. Some things are destined for failure. Hold on. I didn't mean to open up any wounds. You didn't. Hey, we sound just like we did on those long nights on stakeout. Yeah. We used to solve all the world's problems. All but our own. Stay as long as you like. Morning. Meet me at the Farview Farm. It's just up the road on the right. Stetson.
I didn't even see who was on the bulldozer, but I have an idea it was Brass Balls or his cousin. Whoever it was, it's obvious they don't want you around. Well, they won't run me off that easily. What are you going to do? I'm going to call the sheriff. Don't call the sheriff. Why? There's laws against this sort of thing. If you can't prove who it was, you'd just be making problems for yourself. Even if it was Brass Balls. The sheriff's not going to side with you. He'll figure you probably brought it on yourself. Whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I'm just telling you the way things are around here. I'm real sorry about your car. Take my car into town. Talk to the sheriff if you want. You'd just be wasting your time. Can you watch the register? Is Renee working today? She was. Will she be back? I don't know. What, does she still work here? Yes, she works here. I'll come back later. thought you were gone. I'm back. Where are we going? For a drive. I shouldn't be letting you drive the car. It's not mine. I know. It's Stetson's car. And how well do you know Stetson? Someone you know? Someone I wish I didn't know.
Are you in some kind of trouble? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm the one that's confused. Who is that chasing us? Did you come to the cafe asking for me? My car was smashed this morning. Smashed? I thought it was those guys that I ran into the cafe yesterday. And I thought you might be able to tell me something about them. And I wanted to see you again. I'm glad that you did. So how do you know Stetson? Stetson and I used to see each other. Who wants a wife? Someone who will stay home and cook and clean. And I'm not into that. When will you be going back to Honduras? I don't know. I don't remember. Soon. Is your father a farmer? My father's dead. Died recently. I'm sorry. He was a good man in a lot of ways, you know. He always looked out after me. Do you have any other family? Mother died when I was young. I didn't have any brothers or sisters. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'll stay until I get sent back. You ain't out of here yet, asshole. Back off, Griff. Let it be. You
Morning. Just in time for breakfast. I wonder what happened to you yesterday. I thought you might go back to the city. I was with Renee. Let's see. Someone tried to run us off the road. Run you off the road? I don't know if they were after me or Renee. Or they thought it was you in the car. You see who it was? No. I... We've been friends a long time. Don't get involved in what's going on here. What is going on? I can't say. Last night, I saw your plane being unloaded on the airstrip. You saw that? Well, I saw something. Uh, yeah, I picked up some spare parts for a local company. They pay big money for emergency deliveries. Ike, go back to the city. It's you. You know, I didn't hear a knock. I don't have a knock. I know the way in. What brings you out so early? You've got to help me get Ike Walters out of Greentown. He's seen too much. Why come to me? He's your friend. What did you tell him yesterday? I didn't tell him anything. You should tell him everything. The two of you should leave town this morning. Oh, just like that. Well, you won't be rid of me so easily. Don't you understand the danger you're in? I understand plenty. Go play with your airplanes. I don't want anything to happen to you. Oh, yeah, like you didn't want anything to happen to my father. That wasn't my fault. Just go. Leave me alone. I loved you. I guess I still do. I don't want you to get hurt. You don't love me. I'm getting out. It's all starting to unravel. Come with me. You won't. All right, I won't. Just go.
I want you to leave like Walters alone. Old friendships die hard, huh? I can get him out of Greentown. You don't have to kill him. Ike Walters is a smart cop. He knows too much already. If you try anything more with Ike, you count me out of the whole operation. I've already counted you out of the operation. <laughs> Put him in the shed. Excuse me, miss. Is Renee working today? No, but she's having coffee right over there. Thank you. You're welcome. She might have left Greentown by now. Why is everybody so anxious for me to leave Greentown? So, some coffee? No, thank you. I'd like to talk to you about Stetson. Is he in some kind of trouble? trouble. Let's not talk here. Let's go for another drive in the country. Okay. This time, you drive. Okay. So you think Stetson's in some kind of trouble? I know he is. He wouldn't talk to me about it. I thought you might be helpful. Well, you thought wrong. I can't tell you about Stetson's problems. Can't or won't? Look, you don't know what's going on here. Tell me something I don't already know. I know who you are. I know you're a cop from the city. I know you're supposed to be on vacation here until you can testify before the grand jury next week. I also know that you are a lousy judge of where to take your vacation. And how do you know this? Because I'm undercover for the DEA. Drug enforcement? And I'll tell you something else. Your life is in danger. And Stetson's too. Unless you get out of Greentown. What about Stetson? Greentown is the entry point for a number of Central American drug shipments. Last night, that's what I saw. What did you see? At Stetson. Someone was unloading a plane. It was dark and I couldn't see much. Stetson's been flying in shipments for some time now. Stetson. I'm sorry to be the one telling you this. 
I've got to talk to Stetson. No, you can't do that. He can't know about me. We are this close to moving in on him, and if you say anything, you'll ruin it. Well, what do you want me to do? Pretend you know nothing. That'll be easy. What's the matter? DEA? I was just getting to like you as an exchange student. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Then do it. like me now that you know I'm a cop too? I'll think about it. What about Honduras, your father? Was it all a front? No. What I told you about my family is true. How did you get in this line of work? It's a long story. It's the story of my father. He's most responsible for why I'm here. You said your father was a farmer. Yeah. A long time ago. We were very poor. But we became very rich. Because after my mother died, all that mattered to father was money and me. He always looked out after me. I loved him very much. Talking about him makes me feel lonely. This is Mr. Cupper's cottage. He thinks I'm an exchange student. He lets me stay here. Would you like to come in? I better not. I'm going to Stetson's to get my things. Head back to the city. I understand. Are you sure you won't change your mind about coming in? I'm sure. Take care of yourself. You too.
It's over, baby. Just relax. Relax. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Relax. It's okay. It's over. It's over. It's over. stay here with you? Yes. No. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. When Duggar doesn't return, someone will be looking for him. I'll sleep on the couch and we'll be ready. Thank you. I'm just going in to get my things. What is it? It's from Stetson. 
He wants me to meet him at the park. Why? He doesn't say. see him. Let's walk down here. Awfully quiet park. God, it's coming from over there. I've got to get behind him. Where are you going? Stay put. Toss it. Toss it! You in Greentown just to kill me? Move.
today. Right there. What's going on? Do what he says, Ike. That's right. Just do what I say, and we can all get through this. Let her go. Do you know who she is? <laughs> do I know who she is? Do you know who she is? Who are you pretending to be this week, bitch? Want to know who's been trying to kill you? I have. I won't let your meddling interfere with my operation. No partner. Don't move. Renee, what is he talking about? You've been killing my men one by one. Smuggling operation you're trying to crack? It's my operation. It was never yours. Was Stetson your partner? Stetson? He was my delivery boy. <laughs> Here's my former partner. Renee. <laughs> Damn it! Get in here. car won't start. I need oh. your help. Hit the road, Shut up. I ain't gonna give no Shut ride. Shut up! Is that Stetson's car over there? Stetson let me borrow it. You've got to help me. Renee's life is in danger. You mean Renee Dupois? Yes. Take me to Stetson's. I need his help. Oh, that's bullshit. Well, I ain't get gonna the fuck up. up. Grant, please. Please help me. Well... You said please, and I'll get in the back. What? What? Yeah. Ah. Fucking don't worry about it. Ah. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's get out. Get out. Now! Here, I'll see if Stetson's home. Right, we'll just wait here all day. You surprised to see me alive? Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I bet. You knew who was after me? You set me up. I did not. I told Jurger to lay off. I know that Jurger's involved. The bastards got Renee. Renee? We were at the city park. Jurger took her in his car. You've got to help me find her. Where did he take her? I don't know. I think that you do. So what? It's all over. I'm getting out. Stetson, is Renee part of this operation? <laughs> Renee is the operation. Until Jurger took over. Where did Jurger take Renee? 
I don't know. Or care. Like I said, I'm getting out. What are you doing? Put your hands up. You don't mean it. Don't force me to use this, Ike. I've got no choice. Think of Renee. It's over. It doesn't have to end like this. Jurger's alone, and all the others are dead. Jurger's alone? Jurger's alone. He won't be expecting us. Help me find Renee. Alone? Yes. Hold it right here. Let's go outside. Stop right there. Brass, come here. This man has a gun. Get it from him. Don't do it, Brass. Don't listen to him. Get his gun. This man's a dangerous criminal. Woo, didn't I tell you? Brass, I'm a police officer. You're right, he's got a gun. I also have a police badge in my coat pocket. Move away, quickly, this man's dangerous. Stetson, you're better than this. I'm sorry, I... Think of Renee. Together we'll find her. Renee's a thing of the past. She's not. Her life is in danger now. I can't help that. Turn around. Hold a gun on him, Brass. You mean like this? Yeah. Don't let him try anything. I'll be right back. Back off! I just want to show you my badge. It's in my coat pocket. What is that? It's like a police badge to me. I'm a police officer. Something tells me you're the one on the level around here. What the hell's going on? Stetson's been flying in drugs from Central America. Drugs? I thought old Stetson lived mighty out of the hog. Is Renee mixed up in this? I'm not sure. I'm afraid so. Are you going to hold that gun on me all day? Damn right he is. Hold on. Well, I'm going to take a chance on you. You get in the back of the truck, I'll keep the gun. We'll go see the sheriff. Let him sort this mess out. Fine. Let's go. Get in the truck, Grandpa. you stationary for a while. Your friend Stetson got away, which is more than you will do. And when I finish here in a few minutes, there'll be no traces left. <laughs> He's trying to get our attention. Well, he sure as hell done that. He wants us to follow him. Follow him? Follow him where? To Renee. Renee? Hell, I forgot all about her. Come on, let's go. 
Hey, asshole, we're the ones that give orders now, here. Hold on here. Hold Bra on. Brass, trust sure. me on this one. That's is leading us to Renee. All right, I'll trust you this one time. You take this, I'll drive the truck. <laughs> Whoa, <wait>. <laughs> I got everything under coat. Okay, nobody move. Me and my fault! He hit me! Goddamn moron! Back in the truck, Chris. Let's get going. Follow Stetson. Oh, if that's up to me, I'll let him shoot your ass. Francis, do what he says. Just do what he says. I guess we're back to square one, huh? Can't leave behind any evidence now, can we? Adios, my lying muchacha. <laughs> Looks like you're going to get a second chance. Which is more than your meddlesome boyfriend's going to get. I should have killed the bastard while I had a chance. Has to be Jurger. We found him. So what do we do now? Uh, we go after Renee. We? What? We? Hey! Hey! Look! That's Stetson's plane landing. This is just getting interesting. Just like old times. Yeah, getting your ass out of a jam again. Renee in there? Yeah, she must be. I'll distract him. See if you can get in from the rear. What's the matter? Thanks. Forget it. Get around there before I change my mind.
Avery, is that you? Is there anyone else left? Renee? Let her go, Jerger. In time. In time. Stetson, uh, let's make a deal. I'm listening. Uh, we can be partners. Now fly me out of here, and I'll split the operation with you. Let Renee go, and we'll talk. Renee's my insurance. And we got no deal. Jenner, I thought about your offer. About being my partner? Yeah. If I get you out, you give me half. It's a deal. He's sorry. Then it's a deal. Put down your gun and walk this way. I keep my gun. It's my insurance. can do to help you. Will you help me escape? Is that what you want? My father, my father brought me to this country so that I may live safely, you know, in freedom. You may think I'm naive, but I didn't know what my father was exporting. You're right. You didn't know. I didn't know. Sure, you know what? There's times I, I suspected. I suspected. But he kept me insulated. He didn't want me to get into trouble. <laughs> There's one other thing I want to tell you. You've been my strength and my support these last few days. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't survive. I want you to know. I want you to know that I'm I'm grateful.
ain't that sweet. Boy against girl. <laughs>